Hey guys, welcome back. All right, I wanted to talk about something. I get a lot of questions on my thermal camera. Um, I did some videos earlier on in uh, when I had first got the, uh, the, the, the camera. It's actually my phone. Uh, some of you guys don't know that. Uh, it was a, cat a Caterpillar built phone uh, called an S60. That was the first version they came out with. I've been using their phones for years, but that was the first version they came out with that had a thermal camera. When I upgraded, uh, when I upgraded from the last phone that I had, I think it was the B10, uh, which is no longer made. I went to the S60 because I was looking for a thermal camera at the time, obviously, and the fact that I could get both uh, for the price of basically the thermal camera alone, well, it was good incentive. All right, so here's the deal: is the was the phone uh, with the thermal camera as good as a as a standalone thermal camera? Probably not. Uh, not in the sense that the, it's going to have the same clarity or resolution. With that said, will it do the job? 100%. That phone absolutely uh, did everything I needed it to do to fix cars, to diagnose uh, circuits that were getting hot, you know, voltage drop issues and stuff. I could see right through the phone before I ever put any kind of meter or scope on it. Uh, that kind of thing is really, really nice to have. Um, you know, uh, it can be used in so many applications, guys, that I can't, I, I'm not even going to begin to go through it. I, I fixed things in my house. I found drafts in my house uh, uh, by the windows that were, that were, that required sealing. And uh, I was able to pick that up with that thermal camera, even with the lower resolution that it had compared to, you know, the more expensive standalone units. With that said, if you go buy a FLIR uh, camera, a standalone camera, uh, I've seen them personally for anywhere from 450 up, all right, uh, refurbished, you know, and such, and, and new, okay, so uh, Snap-on makes them, all different companies, uh, they, they really took off in the, in the industry over the last few years, uh, I guess due to social media, you see one guy using a thermal camera to diagnose a car, and us being uh, tool junkies, by, basically, you know, being in this industry, we run out and buy the first, you know, as soon as we see something like that, it's like a kid in a candy store. We have to have it. Now, my, my thing with thermal cameras is that I found, uh, this is going back, I had seen them used in other applications. I, I forget exactly what they were being used for at the time, but I was like, that would be really cool for automotive. And then I looked at the prices of them, and I said, oh, nope. They were, they were super expensive. Uh, they have, you know, they have gone down, like as technology expands, things go down in price and they become more available to the, to the you know, person that is not well off, okay? Um, the fact that, like I said, I found the phone uh, with the camera built in, that was an easy sell on, uh, for the, for, that was an easy sell, okay? I, I had to have it. Now, what happened was this was the first this was the first uh, cat phone that I've owned and I've owned uh, that was the third one I've owned actually that was the first one that I bought that actually failed on me. Uh, the other two were outdated, you know they they got outdated for I've had them for years and I upgraded. So the S60 uh, I was very happy with for a long time that I had it two years or whatever and that's a long time by today's standards for having a phone. Uh, people trade them in, you know pretty quickly from what I see. I don't. I don't like to get rid of things that work for me. I like to keep them. Uh, I would still have the S60, but what happened was I started to realize when I was taking pictures, this is what started it anyway, I would take a, a photo and as it would flash, just before the, as the flash was activating, it would shut the, the phone off. So I would get it to turn, you know, it would turn right back on and it would, I would notice the battery life had decreased uh, tremendously from where it was before I tried to take the photo. So I wasn't sure if something is shorting internally, damaged, or whatever. I, I don't know. Um, and I'm not a circuit board engineer or anything like that, so I, I really don't know. Uh, of course, me being me, I had to take the phone apart and try to see if I saw anything wrong, touch, you know, wires touching, anything stupid, you know, on the board. I couldn't find anything wrong. Um, I put it back together. And well, I didn't take it apart actually till it failed completely. It, it, it was not turning on. There was, you know, all, all sorts of things going on with it. So my options at that point were, do I buy a different phone now? Did their quality control go down? Did, I don't know, right? So I emailed them and I told them I was extremely disappointed uh, because this phone was not dropped 
uh, I mean, it was dropped, don't get me wrong, it, it, but not, it was never dropped hard on anything, you know what I mean? It was never thrown, it was never abused. Um, you know, they're supposed to sustain a fall from six feet onto like uh, marble or concrete or something. So that was never even remotely close to how they fell. I mean, I would be on the floor, you know, on my hands and knees doing something, checking something that would fall out of my waistband holder and it would fall onto the floor, you know what I mean? A foot, you know what I mean? Nothing crazy. So there was no reason that the phone should have failed from abuse, like let's put it that way. Um, I did use it obviously every day, uh, but again, you know, it's supposed to be the world's toughest phone. Uh, you know, they show it indestructible basically, you know, they can drive over it with a car. They, they are durable, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I use tempered glass screens, uh, or prote screen protectors on my phones and the only thing that I ever had break on me was the tempered glass screen actually once. Um, the, the protector, I should say, not the actual screen of the Caterpillar phone. So the phone is durable. And that, the reason that broke is because I had it face up on my desk and I was doing something, tinkering with something and I dropped a wrench and it cracked the, the protective layer, but not a big deal. Came home, changed it out, you know, whatever. The phone was flawless and that's the, that's the truth until it wasn't. Then it broke and that was the end of it. Um, Caterpillar basically wanted to work with me and, uh, you know, because I wrote them an email and I told them I was extremely disappointed. Uh, you know, there's really no reason this phone should fail like that and blah, 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 and on and on, right? I was not looking for something for free, all right? I don't do that. Uh, if I feel that something should be warranted, I will bitch and moan because, you know, it, what's right is right. I feel that way and I'll, I'll express my opinion. Uh, the phone is two years old. It's literally just out of warranty. Now, they wanted to work with me. They wanted me to send them the phone. They were going to repair it for free. Very cool of them. Um, some companies, as you guys know in the industry, even car companies, if you're a week out of uh, warranty on a vehicle, GM uh, or Ford uh, or Chrysler, they'll uh, absolutely tell you to go pound salt 99% of the time, okay? Unless you happen to know somebody or whatever. You will most of the time get kicked out on your butt, have to pay the repair. So I wasn't expecting anything, and it was nice of them to make the offer, but I had already pulled the trigger and moved up to the S61, and I was waiting. I explained to them I was waiting for it to come in the mail. They still offered to fix the S60. I said, no. Um, I said, I think I'm going to use it in one of my videos uh, as a target for a tomahawk, and I may do that. But in any case, I waited for the S61. Uh, it took a couple, of, I don't know, maybe three or four days, I guess, five days, whatever, to get here, and I got it. And uh, I'll show it to you guys now. This is the new Cat S61. Well, new to me. It's, it's been out a year now, I believe. Uh, they did discontinue, just so you know, they discontinued the S60 model. And I don't know why. Um, unless they had issues with it or they whatever the case was. This thing, when it came out, I'm just going to tell you this for comparison's sake. When the S60 came out, it was 600 bucks. Now... <clears throat> again, for the price of a thermal camera built into the phone, even, even though it wasn't the top of the line thermal, FLIR thermal camera that was in it, it was still a thermal camera that worked and performed its functions. For 600 bucks with, you know, the phone, this and that, all the abilities the phone had, durability, I, I thought it was worth it. Cat must have decided to discontinue it for a reason though. The S61 took its place, okay? This phone is 700 and change. I don't remember. It was, it was a little over 700 bucks. It's been a few days since I ordered it, guys. I mean, I can't remember everything. Uh, so it's more than the S61 was. It has more functions than the S61 did. It has better uh, memory. It has, uh, and I'm not going to go through all the specs because I really don't remember them and I don't want to lie to you. Go, on, go to catphones.com, look at the specs. This is not an iPhone, guys. This is not some, you know, gaming style phone. It does growl. It's not a gaming phone or anything like that. Um, but it does have enough. The S60 was fine for me. I never had any issues. Uh, service, it's 4G. Uh, you know, I did not have any issues with the phone in any, any regard. What I want to show you guys, though, is the, the functions that it has. And... Um, First of all, I'll show you the thermal camera. I'll turn it on. And what I want to show you, this thing is actually, this is an upgraded thermal camera from the, from the last model. 
This thing is super clear, and I, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to pick up the on the on the screen here, but the the technology they use, and you guys, a lot of you guys are a lot smarter than me with this kind of stuff for sure. Um, you you will you know without a doubt be able to uh, to understand this stuff a lot better than me. I look at it and I say, oh, pretty picture, looks good. It works for me, okay? I don't, I don't care. I don't care too much about the specs if it works. This phone is fantastic so far. Um, it comes with, obviously, the thermal camera, which is a big selling point to me. And again, far, far better than the S60's version. This is definitely upgraded. They, they tell you, I forget again the specs, but it's definitely upgraded over the S60's version. Far better. This thing is, you could see what you're looking at now, uh, where before you had to struggle with the S60 a little bit to figure out what exactly you were looking at. Um, calibrations on it were a little, eh, you know, this thing seems to be spot on. The other thing it has that's pretty cool, for some, I don't know if some of you guys would find it useful or not, but it has a measuring device, a laser. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's disable that. Um, it has a laser, all right, and it does, it has the ability to measure. I tested this the other night when I calibrated it, and this freaking thing is dead on. Um, it, it will measure distances and such, and it's, it's pretty good, man. Uh, it works, all right? The other thing that it comes with is, uh, it comes with an air, uh, it comes with an air quality tool, I was looking for it. It comes with an air quality tool, all right? The sensors, for it or here. I guess the air quality is not too good in here. It's moderate. Uh, it gives you temperature, humidity. You could change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. I do not know how accurate this thing is. I've been told, uh, or you know, I've seen uh, from what I've read that they're, they're not super accurate. It's not, you know, whatever. It, it is what it is. I'm never going to use it. I could care less, but it's in there. Um, it's pretty cool. Like, hey, look, I could show you the air quality. Don't breathe whatever, get a mask, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's something in the phone, whatever, I uh, came with it, um, it has the ability to go underwater as well, this phone is completely waterproof, 100% waterproof, okay, you can throw this thing into water for a few hours and it's not going to hurt it, uh, you can take pictures underwater, I think there's a setting on the camera for underwater photos, um, you know, again, good for guys in the field working and, uh, you know, this part of the phone here that you see here is actually a case. Okay, I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna pop it out of the case, but because it's extremely tight. Uh, this this case is from CAD as well. I bought this separate. The phone is outlined in aluminum. The you know the actual phone case, uh, body is aluminum, and it's quite durable. But I like to have a rubberized protective layer over the phone to protect it. Plus. If you look closely here, it's hard to see on camera, but the edges actually sit up higher than the screen, which I also like because if it does fall face first onto something and hits the screen, it's going to break the screen for sure. Uh, I put the tempered glass cover on it already. If it drops, I'm hoping that it doesn't drop face first onto something sharp or whatever. You know, it's a flat surface and it doesn't break. Um, that's obviously user error 90% of the time, so I'm going to be careful. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Well, you're probably going to see this thing plenty in future videos. Uh, you know, I do like my thermal cameras, so you're probably going to see this in use. But I wanted to touch on it because guys always ask about what phone I use. Uh, I'm sorry, what thermal camera I use. Uh, this is it, okay? The case that I, the case that I was talking about before... It also comes with, uh, I can't remember the name of these things, all right, it could hold, this clips that it comes with uh, for your belt, that you can loop it on your belt, and there's it is also a clip that it's supposed to sit, you know, a snap clip that's going to hold on your belt, which is garbage. Uh, Cat, if you guys are watching this, um, I would honestly try to improve on this crap's design. This is not the best thing that I've ever seen Cat produce for the phones. Another thing that kind of is, is uh, an oversight, I guess, on their part, is if you notice here, you got the nice cutout for the cameras. Well, right here, where there's no cutout, right about here, 
Yeah, there should be a cutout because there's two microphones in there that are completely covered. I have not tried the mic on this. I really don't talk into my phone very often unless I'm giving a talk in a Facebook messenger or something like that, a voice message. But I, I, I am going to say that this case is going to inhibit the ability for the mic to work in a big way, okay? I have a milling machine behind me. Uh, I may take this case off and mill myself a little slot there for this and fix it myself. But I think the cat could have done for 50 bucks, they could have done a lot better on the design of the case. Uh, just this whole, this whole thing here is kind of wasteful to me. It's kind of useless. I'll never use it. Uh, this is going to sit in my pouch on my belt and uh, nice and safe and secure. And that's it. If you guys are wondering, do I recommend it? I can't. The S60, I said, I definitely recommend. I was, I was a, uh, you know, I, I really liked it. Um, I don't want somebody to go out and be disappointed, so I don't want to recommend anything anymore, to be honest with you, uh, unless I've used it for a long period of time where I can say that it's, you know, not going to fail you. The reason I'm saying that, guys, is that I have seen videos of the S61, and they had problems with them. The guy, one guy, I think, sent his back three times before he got one that worked you know, properly, and uh, then there were, you know, there was a couple of guys that were complaining. Now, you're always going to get guys that are, uh, you know, that are going to, you know, you're going to get one or two guys that aren't happy with something. That's fine. And legitimately, these guys did have an issue, obviously, so, you know, it sucks. But the truth of it is there's, there's a lot of guys out there that also have said that the phone is fantastic. It's been flawless. They've had it for over a year now when it first came out. And I read through a bunch of comments, and a lot of guys use it. A lot of guys love it. Um, I, I like the phone personally. Uh, it's a $750 investment roughly, right? So do I want to tell you guys to run out and buy it? I, I really don't do your research, do your homework, see if it works for you. I, I'm personally happy if this thing continues to work the way it is since I opened it out of the box, I'm thrilled. I have no issues, no complaints. Um, you know, I know nothing's built to last anymore. Uh, I do hope to get a few years out of the phone, and um, you know, that would that would be nice. I'd be I'd be happy if I have to spend 750 bucks every, you know, four or five years. Well, I guess it goes with the territory. But uh, I really don't want to have to buy one every two years. I'm not going to be thrilled. So, you guys make up your own mind. Do some research on it. Go look at the specs at catphones.com. And uh, like I said, I bought this phone. This is absolutely not uh, anything that was sent to me for free, okay? Uh, this, is, this is out of my pocket, but I needed it for work. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm hoping for the best. So like I said, so far, so good. It's been flawless. Uh, it's super fast, you know, compared to the S60. Uh, it's, it's crystal clear. It takes nice pictures. It takes great video. I really have nothing to complain about. Um, you know, and that's the stuff that I use it for, I mean, with work, you know what I mean? I take photos of parts and, and damage on cars and things and such to show customers and short video clips for some of you guys sometimes, whatever. But uh, overall, you know, it's not going to be an iPhone, guys. It's not, you know, it's not designed to be. It's designed to be a durable work phone, uh, you know, something that's going to last. That's what it's advertised as. And, uh, you know, it has a really cool, badass uh you know, thermal camera built in by FLIR, so can't beat that. And I don't know, again, I don't know how well that came up on screen before, but uh, you can do a lot with the thermal camera as far as settings go. Uh, you can see, a, you know, you can see a total uh, across the screen on top if you set it up where it'll show the coldest point in the viewfinder and the hottest point in the viewfinder. So if you have something that's, you know, 250 degrees over yonder and you have, you know, the rest of the screen is... Uh, 65 70 degrees or whatever it'll give you the both hottest and coldest points uh you know at each end of the spectrum plus you can put pointers in to mark out your photos and your uh, live uh, screen as well uh once you take a photo with it and you it's saved to your FLIR folder when you open that when you open that picture you can scroll down or up on the picture and it will show you the live shot without the thermal image it'll show you the actual image like you took a photo uh, it's helpful at times. In any case, uh, I hope that this answers some of the questions you guys have about the phone. I've been rambling. Sorry about that. It's what I do. 
Um, but the phone is badass, okay? It really, for what, for what it is, it's badass. I mean, how much is an iPhone? You couldn't get me, you couldn't pay me to use one of them crap phones. Uh, and yeah, I'm saying that, I'm, I know I'm going to get flamed for that one, but I'm sorry, guys. I, it is what it is. I hate them phones. My wife had one. It failed her from day one until she got rid of it. So uh, a friend of mine had one, failed him from day one until he got rid of it. So I'm not, I'm not a fan, especially not for whatever the hell they cost. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with my cat phone. Hopefully, some of you guys go out and spend the 700 bucks and buy one. That way you could give me your feedback, all right, in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.